All right. I think I'm on air. I think this is working. So um, I had an idea for this Thursday's theorem. Um, and I guess since there was nothing else um, available, we're going to run with it. Um, so I don't know if you're not aware, Calgary, Alberta, that's Canada, um, we had a pretty severe flood um, from Thursday night, Friday, and it, it got really bad on Friday. Um, extremely uh, devastating in terms of the downtown core, which is where 230,000 people work and some people live. Not We had 75,000 evacuations from homes, um, but a lot of those people are probably going to be okay. A lot of them have lost everything, so, you know, it's pretty bad. Um, but one of the things that came up with this flood was the fact that the Calgary Zoo is basically half of it's on an island in the river, and the river flooded really fast. And they had four meters of water in some of the low laying areas of the zoo. Um, and it caused a lot of problems. So they had to move, they moved the large cats, the lions, and the tigers to the courthouse, um, put them in the cells there because it was some place to house them. Um, the hippos got out of their habitat because the water was so high they just swam right over the top and they were in the public areas and uh, they had some some trouble basically keeping them contained so that they didn't get out into the river and end up possibly hundreds of miles downstream in God knows what city. So um, that was bad. We, we did have some animal deaths. A lot of fish died. Um, a couple of peacocks died, and the giraffes uh, are not doing well because it was very traumatic for them, and I guess the move and everything, they're very stressed out. The giraffes might might die. They're still not sure. Um, otherwise, the zoo, I mean, the staff did really, they did a pretty good job with the speed of the flood moving everything out. Um, but <laughs> but it, 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 it caused me to rethink this question. Are zoos good or bad. Um, and, and for the most part, I don't think keeping animals in captivity is ever a good thing. Although I own cats, and my cats love it. They love, they're, they're slightly captive because they're not allowed to leave our backyard, but um, they're happy. They get fed, they, they have lots of mice and things to play with, and I, I don't think that there's a problem with that. I think similar thing with dogs or maybe owning rabbits, or I don't know. Um, but then when you get to zoos, you start, you have to ask questions about, you know, what about elephants and giraffes and certainly any primate? I mean, they're social creatures. Um, and honestly, I can't say that I have a position on this because... I think if an animal is born in captivity, putting them out into the wild might not be a good idea either. Um, I, there's there's cases to be made both ways. So, um, and by the way, this is Minecraft here, and this is our zoo. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have a position, but we're making a zoo. So you know, there's a chicken roaming around here. We've got some birds in here. You can see bluebird. There's a blackbird in the corner. There's some yellow ones somewhere. There's a red one. Another red one. Maybe they crossbreed. I don't know. <laughs> There's some, some big horn sheep over here too. And, and the zoo has just started. We haven't finished building even the pathway yet. So, oh, there's a sheep up here too. Um, obviously a Minecraft zoo. I think there's nothing wrong with having a zoo in Minecraft. But um, in real life, I guess I kind of wonder what everyone else thinks. So, that will be the topic, I think, this Thursday for the Thursday Theorem. We're going to spread this video around. And, and if you've got a strong position either way or just maybe some interesting questions or some insight, yeah, like join us and we'll discuss it. And uh, maybe it'll help me come to a conclusion one way or the other on what I think about zoos. So I'm um, going to end the broadcast.